President John Tramani Mahama will on Thursday deliver perhaps one of the most anticipated State of the Nation address. The address is expected to contain the plans that the President has laid out for the betterment of the country. On energy, the 2014 State of the Nation address focused on the construction and commissioning of a Ghana gas processing plant at Atuabo by the second half of 2014. The Atuabo gas plant is complete but yet to be commissioned. Again, the President stated that 330 megawatts of power would be added to the national grid. He said the Kung Thermal Power Plant in Tema would be upgraded to add 220 megawatts, while the Tiko T2 plant at Abuazi will add 110 megawatts to the energy capacity. What are people's expectations from the president this year? To make us feel that we are not, we are not doing very well and that uh, uh, we should be prepared to suffer a little for the future. For example, this question of not having light all the time. Uh, we should have anticipated it long ago and perhaps paid more for electricity. The government too should have taken certain action. But it seems as if we are afraid to take, to suffer a little for the future. And the president should inspire us to know that we, and we Ghanaians alone, are responsible for our development and that we shouldn't look uh, to others, whether World Bank, uh, IMF, or whatever it is, to develop this country for us. We alone can develop this country. Because we are in a light uh, problem in the country, so it should be back up and do everything to what he promised the Ghanaians. So it should, it should be flat events. Our power crisis, I think that one is creating a lot of mess for most employers and then it's also leading to uh, unemployment so i'll be very grateful if he can address that particular problem to enable uh, employers cut down their operational cost that would be my major uh, concern to the president well i think the president should um try and get us more jobs people are searching for jobs and it's difficult for people are struggling it's difficult for people to survive right now so they should try to um make a decision that people will get more work there'll be job available for people to work and also the doomsday is too much you try and resolve it now may probably at the end of this month you should try to give us like we want like you are suffering what i'm expecting from the president is like as they, they said that they're going to reduce uh, the tariffs from the what we call smartphone so that everybody each and everyone can use smartphone uh, that's all my expectation and again to the power crisis it's, it's, it's really terrible we are students we need to learn and it's like we, the, we have to solve the power crisis for us the president should not just keep giving us assurances this time i want to hear something like we have put this and that in place so this this problem should come to a close or a stop at this duration and then he should make sure that those put in place to shadow that the, t the light comes for this group at this time and goes for that group at another time should also do their work well and stop taking Ghanaians for a joke. Strategically the economic situation uh, has to be put in shape. I know that maybe he's trying his best but I think uh, he needs to do well because Ghanaians are getting disappointed in him. And as a leader, the moment your people get disappointed in you, it creates a whole lot of problem and it can, it can, it can affect. So we, we hope that, I mean, things will work out for him and the country. As a citizen, we'd also love to see how best the measures he's putting in place to solve the energy crisis. We know he's doing his best, though. But um, he's giving a lot of assurances. And I think that meeting the addressing the state through parliament we're going to get a definite um, solution to the problem a last one of course but not the one that will just last for five years and after seven years we'll come back to this level but we believe that um, it's a young man a young president as you all know and we know he's going to put a lasting solution to this problem so that at least what is going to put in place it takes after the next 20 30 years without experiencing this situation again in our life as a country